Good evening and welcome everyone. I am Jatin Verma. So these are the Hindu based current affairs for prelims 2019. So these multiple choice questions will help you revise the Hindu newspaper for today. And uh, while making these current affairs based MCQs, I have also referred to the Press Information Bureau analysis. So let's begin with the questions in order to revise the current affairs for today. Those of you who haven't even read the Hindu newspaper for today, even these questions will help even those in uh, revising the most important news of the uh, day. Now, question number one, consider the following statements about Prevention of Corruption Act. So, uh, consider the following statements here. No permission is necessary for prosecution of offences uh, for prosecution of for offences committed by public servants under this act. Yani ki permission nahi chahiye. Kya CVC ki permission chahiye prosecute karne ke liye ya nahi chahiye. Second, second statement, permission is mandatory only for initiating investigation or inquiry. <clears throat> Third, Prevention of Corruption Act was amended in Prevention of Corruption Act was amended in year 2018 to avoid policy paralysis. So which of the above statements is or are correct? A 1 and 2, B 2 and 3, C 1 only, D 3 only. So answer to question number 1 is D. Supreme Court on Monday said it would like to know whether prima facie case has been registered against alleged accumulation of disproportionate assets by Samajwadi Party, Patriarch, Mulayam Singh Yadav and others. Highlights of the act, punishment for bribe taking has been enhanced and permission for, uh, you know, this punishment for bribe giver also. Collusive bribe giving, yani ki paisa dena bhi hai, kanonan aprad hoga aap se, right? So, this is there. Now, gifts are criminalized. Even the gifts, yani in kind corruption, cash vegara mein to tha hi, property mein to tha hi. Gifts have also been criminalized. Undue advantage definition. Definition of undue advantage being derived by public servant, civil servants out of the performance of their government duties has been, the definition has been expanded now. Clear? Now, corporate bribery. Private sector mein companies ki jo bribery hai, usse bhi cover karta hai act. Immediate forfeiture of property through corruption. Immediate forfeiture of property. Yani ki final faisla hone ki zarurat nahi hai. We need not wait till the final decision of the court. We can, the, the CBI, Enforcement Directorate and other agencies involved can immediately forfeit the, the ownership of the property. If it is uh, prima facie proved that, if it is prima facie sufficient to prove that, something is there, right? Matlab, corruption kuch na kuch, corruption se paisa liya gaya. Timely trial, time bound trial, conclusion of investigation and trial within two years and can be extended up to four years. Section 19 of the Pre uh, Prevention of Corruption Act says, permission necessary. Permission necessary from the competent authority for prosecution of offences committed by public servants. Statement 1 is incorrect. Isiliye. Previous sanction is mandatory only for prosecution. Previous sanction of Lokpal, CVC, Jobi authorities rehengi, unki previous sanction mandatory rehengi only for prosecution. No permission is required for initiating the investigation. Preliminary inquiry ke liye Preliminary inquiry ke liye ya uh, uh, jo permission koi aisi nahi chahiye. Statement 2 is also incorrect. So answer ho jayega. 1 ka D. Only third is correct. Is it clear? Now, coming this, baki ki information aap uh, jo blog hai mera jatinvarma.org wahan se aap log download kar sakte questions. Now here, question number 2. Consider the following statements about virtual sim. The number is linked to social networking. Uh, sites like WhatsApp, uh, Facebook, Telegram or Twitter, virtual SIM. Now it is a satellite based number. Second statement you carry that virtual SIM is a satellite based number. Hai. Third, it can be used from any device via an application. So which of the above statements is or are correct? Answer your question. Third, second answer is C. 
यानी कि वन एंड थ्री स्टेटमेंट आर करेक्ट दिस नंबर इज वर्चुअल सिम नंबर इज नॉट अ सेटेलाइट बेस्ड नंबर तो वर्चुअल सिम इन दिस टेक्नोलॉजी ये क्यों न्यूज में था क्योंकि जैसे मोहम्मद सुइसाइड बॉम्बर पुलवामा अटैक में जो इन्वॉल्व था और दे वर यूजिंग वर्चुअल सिम कार्ड ओके वर्चुअल सिम बेसिकली नाउ इन दिस टेक्नोलॉजी अ कंप्यूटर जेनरेट्स अ टेलीफोन नंबर एंड द यूजर डाउनलोड एन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द सर्विस प्रोवाइडर ऑन देयर स्मार्टफोन The number is linked to social networking sites like WhatsApp, Facebook, Telegram, or Twitter. So statement one correct हो जाता है. Verification code generated by these networking sites like WhatsApp, etc., is received on the smartphone. Okay. So this is there. Now, unlike the SIM card, virtual SIMs are not attached to a mobile and created online to help communicate. तो इसमें कोई ऐसा नहीं है कि सिम कार्ड नीड्स टू बी इंसर्टेड वर्चुअल सिम इज यू जस्ट नीड दी वेरिफिकेशन कोड एंड इट विल स्टार्ट वर्किंग इट इज अ क्लाउड बेस्ड नंबर इट इज नॉट अ सेटेलाइट बेस्ड नंबर इट इज अ क्लाउड बेस्ड नंबर ओके इट कैन बी यूज फ्रॉम एनी डिवाइस वाया एन एप्लीकेशन स्टेटमेंट थ्री इज करेक्ट तो स्टेटमेंट वन एंड थ्री आर करेक्ट ओके नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री कंसिडर दी फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट अबाउट बॉर्डर एरिया डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम But one, it has been implemented through. It has been implemented through 17 states. Second, the funds under Border Area Development Program are shared between the center and the states in 90 is to 10 ratio. Model villages have been model images have to be model villages have to be developed under the scheme. Model villages. so can, which of the above statements is or are correct yes sakshi it's like virtual aadhar card ye questions ka time sirf aaj change kiya gaya hai varna evening mein 6:15 se 6:45 hi time rahega clear now question number third answer hai iska c why news sorry question number third consider this answer is ka c a report of comptroller a report of cag has found irregularities in the implementation of border area development program it has been implemented through 17 states which share international land border statement 1 correct ho jata hai ye sabhi states mein border area development program uh, jo hai chal raha tha funds under border area development program are provided to states as 100% non lapsable special central assistance 100% special central assistance non lapsable non lapsable means if the funds allocated under the scheme are not used are not used within are not used within one year so this will be this can be used next year next year rule of lapse is pe nahi lagta yani ki aisa nahi hai ki har bar 1st april ke liye 1st april se 31st march ko budget mein dobara se funds allocate karwane ki need padegi Border area development program extends to all villages located within 0 to 10 km of international borders in all the 17 states. Some of these villages will be developed as model villages. Statement 3 is correct. Okay. About the border area development program, the Department of Border Management Ministry of Home Affairs has been implementing the border area development program through the state governments as a part of comprehensive approach to border management okay program aims to meet the special developmental needs of people living in remote areas so this is additional information now question number 4 consider the following statements uh, about the nasa's grace satellite which of the following can be measured by nasa's grace satellite one ocean mass ice mass variations in earth's gravity field runoff and ground water storage on land masses Fifth, Saturn's ring diameter. Choose the correct option. A, B, C, or D. Question number four. Fourth ka D hai. Why news study published in Gen Journal for Environmental Monitoring and Assessment has forecast the impact of sea level rise on? coastal aquifer in the coming years 
till 2100. Fresh water will be replaced with saline water over the time, says the study. In 2002, NASA launched GRACE satellites which track both ocean and ice mass by uh, mapping the by measuring the changes in Earth's gravitational field. Fourth ka answer D hai guys. Fourth ka answer D hai. Right. Now, launched in March 2002, GRACE mission is accurately mapping variations in Earth's gravity field. The gravity variations studied by GRACE include Number 1. Changes due to surface and deep currents in the oceans. Second, runoff and groundwater storage on land masses. Third, exchanges between ice sheets or glaciers and the ocean. Fourth, variations of mass within the earth. Now, this is there. Question number five. Consider the following statements. The Rushi Kulia River originates from the hill of hills of Eastern Ghats. Rushi Kulia River originates from the hills of Eastern Ghats. Second, mass nesting of olive ridley turtles occurs at Gari Matha side of the river. Gari Matha side of the river. Third, the synchronized nesting in the mass numbers is called Aribadas. Question number 5 answer kare guys. Use the answer number also. Use question number while answering. So, fifth ka answer is C. This year, Olive Ridley turtle, fifth ka answer is C. Yani ki, 1 and 3. Statements 1 and 3 are correct. Now, why in news this year, Olive Ridley turtles have not yet arrived for mass nesting at Odisha's Rushi Kulia, Rukiri and Devi River mouth. Mass nesting also occurs at Gadi Matha coast of the state. It is a beach. Statement 2 is incorrect. Right, statement 2 is thus incorrect. The synchronized nesting in the mass numbers is called Aribadas. Statement 3 is thus correct. Now, the major breeding ground for these turtles is Rushikulia Odisha, Dharma Odisha, Devi Estuary Odisha, Astra, Astaranga Coast Odisha, Garimatha Beach Odisha, Hope Island, Hope Island of Koringa Wildlife Sanctuary, Andhra Pradesh. Koringa Wildlife Sanctuary, kaha pe? Andhra Pradesh. And now, Olive Ridley turtles are classified as vulnerable according to IUCN Red List, International Union for Conservation of Nature. Okay. So, this the fifth ka answer. Now, guys, I would like to tell you about weekly The Hindu News Analysis course, which is on Academy Plus. You can get my courses. Paal sakte. Ek quick, revision, quick revision course for Indian economy, quick revision course for Indian polity, which is prelims 2019. You can get courses. It's going to start in April 2019. Mein. Or test series also, prelims oriented test series by Jatin Varma Nam se course. Rahega. So, you can get all these courses on An Academy Plus. Pe. Use kar sakte hai, referral code Jatin Varma 71 in order to get 10% plus extra 5% from my side. 15% discount you will get if you use this code use karte hai, on Academy pe apply at the time. Iske alawa, current affairs roundup 365 course is also going on there. So, you can benefit from that too for prelims 2019. Or weekly The Hindu News Analysis course, mein, we cover the editorials also. Editorial analysis which is Hindu. Ka Interlinking or background information, MCQs, etc. You can use it benefit of it. So, you can apply it right away. Now, question number 6. Which of the following statements is not correct about universal basic income? It is of unconditional nature. It is not targeted. Universal basic income is not targeted. C. It requires the government to pay only to poor citizens. A fixed amount of money is given on a regular basis. Yes, Abhishek, nice uh, eyesight here. I would say nice vigilant eye. So, question number six. Please answer question number six using the question number while answering. Sixth ka answer is C. Why in news political parties have mentioned UBI, universal basic income, in their election manifestos? A UBI requires the government to pay every citizen a fixed amount of money on a regular basis and without any conditionalities. UBI is universal in nature. So, universal basic income is not targeted. 
UBI is cash transfer scheme only and UBI ke liye koi condition nahi hai one need not prove socio economic caste uh, socio economic status or backwardness to be eligible for universal basic income it is given to every citizen because the name is universal clear now question number 7 consider the following statements about chenchus chenchus are particularly vulnerable tribal group chenchu language is a member of indo aryan language family now chenchus are found in the indian states of andhra pradesh telangana karnataka and odisha which of the above statements is or are correct सेवेंथ का आंसर कीजिए सेवेंथ आंसर प्लीज सेवेंथ का आंसर है बी चेंचूज चेंचूज आर मेंशन इन दी हिंदू आर्टिकल टुडे हिंदू न्यूज़पेपर का आर्टिकल है नाउ चेंचूज आर आदिवासी आर डेजिग्नेटेड स्केड्यूल ट्राइब इन दी इंडियन स्टेट्स ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश तेलंगाना कर्नाटका एंड ओडिशा दे आर अ पर्टिकुलरली वल्नरेबल ट्राइबल ग्रुप स्टेटमेंट्स 1 एंड 3 आर द करेक्ट पर्टिकुलरली वल्नरेबल ट्राइबल ग्रुप हैं चेंचूज स्पीक दी चेंचू लैंग्वेज अ मेंबर ऑफ ये जो लैंग्वेज है द्रविडियन लैंग्वेज फैमिली की एक पार्ट है स्टेटमेंट टू इज इन करेक्ट दे आर एन एबोरिजिनल ट्राइब ट्रेडिशनल वे ऑफ लाइफ हैज बीन बेस्ड ऑन हंटिंग एंड गैदरिंग सेवेंथ का आंसर है बी क्लियर सम ट्राइबल ग्रुप है फीचर्स सच एज डिपेंडेंसी ऑन हंटिंग तो ये सब चीजें हैं नाउ दो ग्रुप्स आर कॉल्ड particularly vulnerable tribal groups jaise ki hunting gathering food for having pre agricultural life level of technology ye sab question number 8 consider the following statements about monkey fever to ye bandar fever ke bare mein bandar bukhare se bola jata hai hindi mein the disease is caused by a virus belonging to the family of flaviviridae the vector responsible for its transmission is ticks called hemiphylaxis hemiphylaxis and spiny jera is called hemaphysalis spiny jera the vector responsible for its transmission is ticks called hemaphysalis spiny jera it is also known as kyasa nur forest disease kyasa nur forest disease kya monkey fever ko kaha jata hai which of the above statements are is or are correct so ye newspaper ke jo questions hain ये हेल्प यू दीज क्वेश्चन हेल्प यू इन बींग अलर्ट वाइल आंसरिंग दी क्वेश्चन वाइल रीडिंग दी हिंदू न्यूज पेपर आंसर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर एट प्लीज so the outbreak of kyasanur forest disease also known as monkey fever at sharavati river valley in sagar taluk is likely to dent the tourism prospects of the region kyasanur forest disease is a is a viral hemorrhagic fever in south india statement 3 is correct the disease is caused by a virus belonging to the family of flaviviridae statement 1 is thus correct the vector responsible for its transmission is ticks called Hemaphysalis spinigera. Statement two is correct. So eight ka answer theek hai. Now question number nine. Sharavati river flows through which of the following states? One Karnataka, two Kerala, three Tamil Nadu, four Andhra Pradesh. So question number 9 please Kisi ko nahi aata kya 
प्लीज आंसर दी क्वेश्चन यहाँ पे महफिल नहीं लगाओ क्वेश्चन आंसर करो नाइन यस तो क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन दी आउटब्रेक ऑफ कैसा नूर फॉरेस्ट डिजीज ऑल्सो नोन एज मंकी फीवर एट शरावती ये सब ये कॉन्टेक्स्ट था न्यूज का शरावती इज अ रिवर विच ओरिजिनेट्स एंड फ्लोज एंटायरली विद इन द स्टेट ऑफ कर्नाटका एंटायरली विद इन द स्टेट ऑफ कर्नाटका शरावती इट इज वन ऑफ द फ्यू वेस्ट वर्ल्ड फ्लोइंग रिवर्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड अ मेजर पार्ट ऑफ रिवर बेसिन लाइज इन वेस्टर्न घाट द फेमस जॉब फॉल्स आर फॉर्म बाय दिस रिवर जॉब फॉल्स कौन सी रिवर पे है शरावती रिवर पे Sharavati Wildlife Sanctuary is also the sanctuary is also situated in the river basin. Sharavati Valley Wildlife Sanctuary. Now, last question for today. Consider the following statements about Kazakhstan. Indian rulers had sent missionaries to Kazakhstan to spread Buddhism. Kazakhstan has agro-dependent economy. Which of the above statements is or are correct? A. One only. B only two. C both one and two. D none of the above. Tenth question, please answer the question number ten. Now tenth ka answer is A. Yani ki. Only first statement is correct. Indian rulers had sent missionaries to Kazakhstan to spread Buddhism. Kazakhstan has renamed its capital, renamed its capital Astana as Nur Sultan in honor of country's long-time president who resigned in a surprise move earlier this week. Kazakh leader Nur Sultan Nur Sultan Nazarbayev made headlines globally after he announced the end of his 30-year rule over the rule over the energy-rich Central Asian country. Kazakhstan has been run by Nazarbayev. For the entire entirety of the period since its emergence as independent nation in 1991, after the fall of Soviet Union, so capital city being named after or renamed after the president of the country, Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan, right? So this was there. Kazakhstan today is mostly a Muslim country, but the Silk Road that crossed it was an important conduit for religions, including Buddhism. Statement one, ठीक है. According to researchers. सेंट्रल एशिया में बुद्धिज्म को ले जाने के लिए इंडियंस ने मिशनरीज भेजे थे राइट फ्रॉम इंडिया मिशनरीज वर सेंट राइट तो बुद्धिज्म बुद्धिस्ट मिशनरीज फ्रॉम इंडिया विजिटेड कजाकिस्तान स्टेटमेंट वन इज ठीक स्टेटमेंट वन इज करेक्ट राइट सो यू कैन यू कैन शेयर योर आंसर ओवर हेयर दो रेगुलर विद इट टूमोरो विल मीट अगेन एट सिक्स फिफ्टीन बिटवीन सिक्स फिफ्टीन एंड सिक्स फोर्टी फाइव पी एम डेली वी कंडक्ट दिस सेशन ओके okay, जिसमें कि 10 क्वेश्चंस होते हैं हिंदू और पीआईबी से तो आपको अपनी अलर्टनेस का पता लग जाएगा एज टू हाउ अलर्ट आर यू वाइल अटेंडिंग दीज क्वेश्चन सो दिस वॉज देयर थैंक यू गाइज गुड नाइट बाय बाय